I'm currently at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs, and I'm swimming 50 free and 100 free at Olympic Trials. training for our trials. Um, we're at altitude, we have great food, dorms are real close to the pool, and we have famous Olympic athletes training next to us. A couple lanes over, maybe the next lane over, um, talking to our coaches, swapping technique. Uh, and it's also really inspiring. Uh, it makes me feel like I belong at trials, like I deserve to go. This is my first time at the training center and the altitude isn't that bad. Uh, we've been taking cows, um, vitamin C and iron supplements, so it's not too bad. My favorite part of the trip so far is getting to know all the other athletes who are here. Uh, weightlifters, wrestlers, inline skaters, you name it, they're here and I've, I've talked to them, got a chance to know what their sport's like and uh, actually met a couple residents, so it's really cool. The hardest part of the trip is watching what I eat because the food is so awesome. It's delicious, the best desserts, low calorie, which makes me want to get second, so it's hard to back off. So one of my favorite sets that I've done here at the training center with Suzanne is a kick set. Really tough. We kick against the board for as long as our goal time in the hundred, and we do that twice, then we do vertical kick really fast for about a minute, then we do um, three or four sprints, breakouts off the wall, and then we do that four times. So I feel like that helps me with my kick endurance during 100 so that my legs don't die by the end. At Olympic Trials, there are over a thousand male and female athletes, and in my event alone, there's over a hundred competing for the trial, um, the Olympic spots. and. To get top 16 means I would go to semifinals and then top 8 goes to finals and the top 2 go to the Olympics. It's important to me to reach my goal of top 16 and if I don't I'll know that the journey along the way has been amazing. Like, I would never replace my time at Princeton and all the alumni and supportive network and uh, current athletes who have my back. So the journey is more important and I'd really like to make top top succeed. A happiness when our love is over. Um, after graduating from Princeton, I had the opportunity to stay and train with the team and act as the volunteer assistant coach. And I'd say What's been difficult about that is finding the balance between being a coach and being a teammate, um, trying to keep the respect um, for what I do, and also get enough training in. I feel like I didn't do as much this year as I have in the past, just because I have a job during the day. Um, but in other ways, I've been training harder, because when I'm at the pool, it really counts. Over the last two years, I'd say Suzanne E, our assistant coach, has been a huge part of my improvement. Um, she's really motivated me to work harder and reach for higher goals, such like the NCAAs and making top 16 at trials. And she's also very creative in her workout style, so I'm never bored. You're in my heart, I wish I knew right from the start. Trip to trials possible.